Welcome back to CryptoDynamics, the smallest cryptocurrency channel in all the interwebs. Today, we're gonna talk about PancakeSwap because my goal here is not only to make money myself, but to help you guys make the right decisions throughout the way. And there are going to be times where you have to make those rough decisions. I'm going to outline how exactly this pancake swap breakout is gonna play out over the next few months there is going to be a lot of volatility and those who stray away from the herd will likely be devoured by the bears pancake swap sitting at a price of twenty dollars and five cents with a market cap of 4.7 billion dollars if you live in the united states you can register to binance us here you're going to be able to trade upwards of 50 cryptocurrencies and if you're a professional trader with years on your belt you can sign up to buy bit you're going to get a deposit bonus and here you can use plenty of leverage so guys it is currently 12 15 a.m i put out a video yesterday saying that we had to get a daily candle closing outside of this triangle and we have done just that guys look what's gonna happen next now that we have a decisive breakout we have to retest the support line we might trend sideways for some time and retest this support line and look at this guys we could even go even lower and still be outside of this symmetrical triangle while this is obviously good it might not cause an initial pump because we have had a single candle close above now we need to show the bears that resistance has become support if we look at the moving averages on the daily time frame we are right now above all relevant moving average 128 50 and 20 moving average so the moving averages are looking good as well and look at this volume guys we actually get some decent volume and i'm expecting to see even more volume come in once we get that retest of support otherwise how are we gonna know that support is there we have to test it what could be the immediate price target like very very fast next day next couple of hours thing and the 61.8 ratio is around 22.90 so let's just call it 23 dollars we might momentarily go up to 23 dollars and then retest support now this doesn't have to happen we could just retest support right now but if we continue higher we're likely to hit 23 dollars in the immediate short term now once we have retested support then i think we could break towards 27 dollars and after going above that 27 dollar level we could slowly creep up towards 40 dollars and we have the ultimate price target of this symmetrical triangle which is around 50 dollars now listen carefully guys for those of you who are still here this is how this all coin season is going to play out and it's going to be very confusing for those who are new we have bitcoin right now which is about to break the all-time high once it does bitcoin is going to be going up for a few weeks it's gonna start going up slowly then really fast and i expect that to happen over october november and even december in the meantime all coins are not gonna be doing very well that including ethereum by the year's end uh, around christmas we might have a small dip in the market that's gonna be a, a good time to buy some cryptocurrencies as well some altcoins might start moving as bitcoin goes up but the majority of them are only going to take off when altcoin season begins which is after december it's pretty much going to be next year now pancake swap could hit 45 bucks before we get the all queen season yes that could happen but i'm actually expecting to see pancake swap reach upwards of 120 dollars or even more in the middle of all queen season which is likely going to be around january and february you're gonna have to be patient guys and some people they just don't know this 
and they are gonna end up letting go of their bags and it's going to be one of the worst financial decisions anyone could ever make now if you're still here guys you're not gonna get this elsewhere bitcoin is gonna pump first so i have allocated a portion of my portfolio towards bitcoin then bitcoin is gonna be outperforming everyone at the beginning after that is going to be ethereum at which point i'm gonna roll my money and profits towards ethereum which i don't expect to do from a 2 to a 3x and we're talking about once bitcoin has already gone to 100k or 150k then ethereum is going to like 4x then i'm gonna roll my money over to cardano which i'm guessing they will have started their few first smart contract protocols and then I'm, I'm expecting to get from a 4 to a 6x out of cardano and guys those are going to be the first three obvious plays and this is not new play here this is what the whales are doing and we know they're making most of the money i'm following the whales and following the money guys if you just got here in crypto that is what you should probably do if you have a small amount of money just accumulate your altcoin now and keep accumulating if you have a bigger amount of money accumulating the altcoin right now is, is not gonna be the best option but then once cardano pumps it gets a little more roomy down there as to the options that you have to put your money in but this flow of money from bitcoin to ethereum to cardano is going to be the easiest trade anyone could ever make guys if you support this content make sure to hit the thumbs up so that other people can get to see this video consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated at all times and i'll see you guys on the next video